Hi, I'm Graham Trudeau, and this video today is brought to you by Insomnia. Insomnia, now in chocolate. Uh, so, Wizards of the Coast announced that they would be discontinuing the Early Access event, also known as the one time of the year that Goodwill for Wizards of the Coast is larger than the semi-constant cavalcade of mismanagement and neglect that they uh, somehow managed to make a profit in spite of. Boy, that is harsh, but I think I'm keeping that in. Um, so anyone I know that has seen this is uh, fairly upset, and I am too. To talk about it slightly more personally, I am not part of the community creator program currently, but certainly part of what inspired me to start making YouTube videos and start streaming regularly uh, was the creator program and these early access events, not just because of cynical view hunting or whatever to like, oh, here's a new busted deck on preview day, but also just it, like it, it's fun. It's a big, big hype event to, uh, I don't know, experience with the community, you know, to gather around arena with, actually. It, it really helps establish a sense of community in a way that just kind of ambling about hoping to randomly get matched up with people on normal arena days doesn't. And I don't think anyone will be in defense of this decision. Uh, in defense of this decision, like it is, it is rough. The one piece of optimism I could maybe muster for this announcement is it seems like a brash decision made in light of strain put on the company by ongoing corporate restructuring compounded by factors like the pandemic and will probably be reversed, maybe? <laughs> but like, y you certainly wouldn't know that from any communications. Um, it's just frustrating. Like, Magic is such a wonderful game, and that's why I've been streaming and playing it and engaging in making content and things, and uh, I'm recording myself at 4am in a silk house coat. Uh, yet Wizards does not seem to have a firm grasp on that, or maybe it's not even Wizards, like... You could speculate as to why they decide they need to cut budget on things like this, or like cut people, shift resources away from things like this, rather than, you know, um, uh, properly funding it, properly providing the development team resources to put on events like this, to properly community manage events like this. And just in the light of the neglect the other parts of the game have been receiving lately, the pro scene and kind of issues surrounding the MPL and uh, any given pro's ability to earn a living playing Magic, as well as the sort of ongoing... Eh, state of Arena. Even just small things like them not turning on Historic Brawl or and not acknowledging that they said months ago that they would, you know, update us on where Historic Brawl is. Uh, just make it so hard to enjoy the game. <laughs> You know, I don't even know if I have a cohesive, a cohesive or like positive take. This is a fairly salty video because, like I said, this was really a kind of element of the game that I was excited about and interested in. Um, my my kind of just plea to wizards is like, I love the game enough to make a weird, rambly, venting, salty video at four a.m. Th moves like this do not impress upon me or most of the community that y you feel the same way. It would be nice even if you can't sink more resources into arena or coverage or just kind of, you know, magic because shareholders and things, to not do this, to provide the community with more information about why something like this is happening or just... Just anything. Oh, boy. that's That's been this weird video. Smash buttons, maybe. Bye.